So even as the country held a requiem mass for the late multi-party democracy champion Kenneth Matiba, his family was counting the ninth month, still waiting for the 1.9 billion compensation awarded by the High Court for his daughter. Murimi Mwange interrogates the bureaucracy derailing the compensation and explains why Matiba's predicament mirrors the predicament of other former state detainees. As the late Kenneth Njindo Matiba sat on the 27th of July last year, counting his 26th year, nine months and two days, since his July 5th, 1990 arrest and subsequent nine-month detention. The Nairobi High Court delivered what was certainly a consoling verdict to his family in order for the state to pay Matiba a total of 1.5 billion shillings for his unlawful detention. Ten months and 29 days later, Matiba, now deceased, lies in a coffin. The government yet to remit even a cent of his compensation as ordered by court. We have seen since Matiba's death many, many, many announced, many policy decisions being issued in the name of government. Uh, uh, condolence messages that amount to nothing. Uh, but crocodile tears. The figure has since risen to 1.9 billion due to accumulated interest and continues to accrue 22 million shillings per month from the date of judgment till full payment. A compensation which now Supreme Court Judge Isaac Lenaola had argued that although it could not return the once avid sportsman and fitness enthusiast back to his original state would at least have consoled him and his family. But that was only months before the state stalled the compensation, as the office of the Attorney General rejected Matiba's lawyer's fees of 234 million, a standoff still pending before the High Court. The agony of the now late multi party crusader who suffered a stroke in an isolation cell during his detention, perhaps best understood by his longtime physician, Dan Gikonyo. Ken Matiba was taken back to prison in committee after a CT scan had shown that he had bled in the brain. That is the worst treatment of a human being being denied urgent medical care. And then suddenly we wake up, uh, go to the archives and take this uh, uh, nice sounding words to, to issue condolence messages and thereafter laugh. It's like they are waiting for people to die because they are nuisance. Araski political figureheads prepare to flock to Matiba's second requiem mass at Ihora Stadium in Muranga County. His fellow state detainee, lawyer Gitobu Manyara, who is also yet to get his compensation, is an angry and disappointed man. After the intern internment of um, the remains of uh, Kenneth Matiba, we will go back to normal and the people forget until somebody else dies. And as the curtains close on the life of the man whose passionate fight for democratic space yielded the 1992 multi-party elections, betrayal and neglect of Kenyan heroes no doubt continues as Matiba's family continues the wait for their compensation. Muremi Mwangikichia News in Nairobi.